so welcome back everyone today i'm going to share an amazing tool that is popular since windows xp by the name xd and this tool will be helping your windows 10 and windows 11 to remove many kind of spyware remove many kind of bloatware and many more options that will be overall optimizing and make your windows 11 usable again so bring up any of your browser and in the search you have to type xd anti-spy and hit the enter key and you will have to click on the first link of the github that will be coming on the very top xd anti-spy the successor to xp anti-spy okay so once you come to this github page and if you want to read about it you can scroll down a bit and then it says improvement over the original full support for the windows 11 and the partial support for windows 10 so that means that all the tweak will be working for windows 11 but for windows 10 maybe few of the tweak may not be applicable okay but still you can give a try now in order to use it from the right hand side under the releases section you will have to click on xd and spy then scroll down and under the asset you have to click on xd and spy dot zip and it's a small file of around 351 kb so it will be quickly downloaded click on the downloaded folder because it's a zip file right click on it click on extract all click on extract and once extracted, you will be getting xdntspy.exe, an application file. So just make a double click on it. And you might be getting this message. So you will have to click on more info and click on run anyway. Now don't worry, this file is totally safe and you don't have to worry about it. And the application will start loading up. So kindly wait for some time. And once it will be loaded, you will be getting this kind of simple dashboard that's very easy to understand and apply the tweak let me make it little bit bigger okay so now we are on the very top the first option that you get is the ad block and it says disable the file explorer ad so you might be getting the advertisement on the file explorer that basically you can uh, disable disable the finish setup ad disable the lock screen tips and ad disable personalized ad so from this option you can disable all kind of advertisement so you need to check the box of ad block and in case if anything you want to uncheck you can uncheck from here next you get ai copilot and the recall option again i will be disabling it don't show copilot in the taskbar that is on the right hand corner here that you can see on my end don't allow windows to save a snapshot of your screen that is basically the recall feature in case if your device support then you can disable it don't allow system wide snapshot again you can disable it next you have the microsoft edge option don't show first run experience i will disable it don't allow to import of data from other browsers so yes i want to disable it disable microsoft edge as default browser yes disable the gamer mode i will uncheck it disable copilot symbol in edge uh if you want to keep it like if you are using the copilot in microsoft edge then you can uncheck it disable shopping assistant i will check it a sponsored link yes i will disable it don't show quick link index in the new page yes i will disable it disable browser sign in and sync services disable submit user feedback option access to collection feature start boost yes okay so similarly you will have to choose all the option in case anything you don't want you can uncheck it then we have the gaming option if you want to disable the game dvr of course i don't use it i believe if you are also not using it go ahead and disable it turn off power throttling that will be of course uh, improving the performance of your device so yes go ahead and disable it disable the visual effects yes i will also disable it then we have the system option that says uninstall the fax printer so if you are not using any kind of fax or a printer on your device go ahead and check it show full context menu in windows 11 so this is another kind of customization so if you need the old context menu like a classic one that was on windows 10 then you can enable this option next we have the taskbar you can disable the bing cloud content search yes i will disable it hide most used app in the start menu that basically comes and display over here you can just check this option pin more apps on the start menu no i don't want to hide search box on the taskbar if you want to hide this one that basically you can do from the setting as well so i will just uncheck it now we have some tweaks option here at the bottom 
clear icon cache so i will check it hide hidden file extension enable snap assist fly out use light theme uh, okay that will be okay security enable user account control so i will keep it to enable only okay so once you have applied all the tweaks you will have to click on apply settings and you can see that the process has been started so once all the tweak will be applied you will find that it has been displayed in a yellow color that basically indicate that the work has been completed okay so once you are done with the tweak guys now finally you will have to go ahead and restart the computer so that the changes can be applied on your device and you can see the changes and the another best part of this application is that it doesn't install on your device so once you are done with the tweak with the optimization now you can simply go ahead and close the application and as the application is not being installed on your device so you don't have to worry about the security and even it will not be occupying any of your cpu and the ram resources so that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed this information this tool and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye